Hello everyone, back guys from welcome back to another video with another review. In this video, we are going to have an unboxing and depth reviewing and seeing what we need to know about DJI Osmo Mobile 2. So let's open the box and see what do we have inside. Here are the stuff which they were inside the box. This is the carry case. Hmm, interesting, very good one to protect the device from any damages. Macro USB power cable. And the handsome gimbal itself. In a first look, the gimbal is so handy, and of course, it's made from plastic, but it has a very good build quality. On the right side of the gimbal, we have the charging port that we can charge our Osmo Mobile with macro USB cable. This button in the left side is the zooming in and out button. W means wide angle, and it works for zooming out. T means telephoto, which it works for zooming in. This is really good because while recording a video by holding the Osmo Mobile, we can slide the zoom button up and down to zoom in and out. At the back of the device, we have the USB port, which we could charge our phone like power bank. That is very useful. So, who needs to charge himself? Anyone? Finally, in front, we have three buttons. Here we have a few LED power light. By pressing the mode button once, you can realize that how much your device power is. If you have three lights, the power is totally full. Mentioning that on the DJI app, you can see the full percent of the battery. You can see how much battery you've got for your phone and for the gimbal, which it is really good. This button is for taking photos in photo mode or start and stop recording in video mode. And obviously, this is the joystick button to change the position of the camera to go up and down, right and left. Last but not least is the power button and mode button. As you notice, all of the buttons are in a really good place to control it easily with one finger. At the bottom of the Osmo Mobile, we have the tripod mount. So simple but very useful to use it on a tripod or monopod. It has a built-in battery that cannot be removed. Except opening the back of the device, you know, if you know the way. Let me tell you about the secret of this carry case. You see this place here, which of course designed for the gimbal's knob. See? But as I noticed, the gimbal's knob is in circle, but the shape of the, uh, the carry case is not in a circle. So if you didn't have any stand or tripod, the gimbals perfectly fit in the case. So you can use it as a tripod. Then you can use it as a stand while taking a panorama, time lapse, and etc. You definitely didn't know that, did you? So keep in mind. Let's trust those hands to hold our mobile phone. Then we can be ready to do our balance. See, this isn't balanced yet. The natural position is like this. By unscrewing this knob, we can change the position into the portrait mode or landscape mode. And by unscrewing this knob, we can move this hand in and out to make a balance. You know, it depends on how much your phone is bigger or smaller. If your phone is larger, you can open it until you can get the right balance. We need to do the balance before we start at the Osmo Mobile. Before starting our Osmo Mobile by tapping once on mode button, we can see the charge of our device. If three LED light is on, then we have the full power. No, I think you told that before. Oh, did I? By holding the mode button for a few seconds, you can turn it on or off. Now we are ready to take photos and recording videos, but by installing DJI app, you can get extra features such as panorama, time lapse, and etc. If you're using a DJI app on your phone, after turning the gimbal on and matching it with DJI app, which they are connected by Bluetooth, you can manage and control it very easily by using the gimbal buttons. First movement allow us to move the gimbal around and the device is going to follow you whenever you move it to with a smooth panning. 
If you push the mode button once, it is going to lock your device in place. So you can move the gimbal around as much as you want to, but the phone will stand exactly in the center and another one click is going to unlock it. This is really good because if you wanted to focus on a single point while filming, this feature lets the camera focus on whatever you wanted to focus on. If you hit the mode button twice, it is going to reset the phone. And by triple tap of mode button, it is going to switch into selfie mode. Oh, hi again. Hi. How's it going? Happy to see you all again. He's just talking. This is phone. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Don't tell him I was in here. I will come again soon. So just, just, just don't, don't tell him. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Oh, over here, down the corner. Yeah. Yeah, over here. <laughs> Bye! Hey, yo, wait! After connecting the Bose device together, which they connected with Bluetooth, let's see the app's details. On top left, we have the button for switching between video mode and photo mode. In each of these modes, we have many settings. As you see, we are in photo mode and we have single, panorama, and etc. And if we switch into video mode, we've got different options such as auto, time lapse, hyper lapse, and motion time lapse. Next one is obviously the shutter button to take a photo or start and stop recording. However, we can use this button on the device easily and quickly without touching the phone. Next one is the Philippine camera mode. Oh, hi again. We can also do that by triple tap on a mode button. I think the triple tap is the easiest way, isn't it? Next one is the play button to see all the stuff we've captured. You mean the gallery, aren't you? Huh? Well, yeah, the gallery. Beside the play button or gallery is active track with green line. And the other one is white balance an exposure with yellow line. By tapping in each area, it will expose based on the amount of light on each area and we can also hold and drag it up and down to manually adjust that. So let's change it into active track. By tapping once on exposure mode, it is going to switch into active track with green lines. So what we need to do is just selecting our object and start recording. And the device is going to follow us whenever we move to up or down, right and left. Testing the active track again in a park on selfie mode. Chose myself. There we go. Okay, cheers. On the top right, we have the home button, which will take you back to the original DJI home screen. Next to the home button, we have the flash button, which obviously it is off, but we can turn it on and off or put it in automatic in the camera setting. Then we have the battery percent of our devices. First one is for gimbal with 92% and the second is for our mobile phone with obviously 64%. Under the home button, we have the camera setting, such as video resolution, beauty mode, flash, white balance, and etc. Under the camera setting, we've got a button for controlling the gimbal. And the last one is setting button. All right, coming out of the studio for testing the stabilization with Samsung Note 8, comparing handheld and the gimbal. First, I'm going to walk and then start recording while running.
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel to see more videos. And like always, have a great shooty day. Ta da! Okay. Don't do that. Eyes, nose, you smile. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Oh, it was a postman. I got a box. Newspaper, newspaper. Oh, yeah, that's it. Canon. 50 mil. Nifty 50 of Canon. Hmm. How's it going? Happy to see you all again. He's just talking with his phone. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Still talking. <laughs>